kids want to be superheroes. You know, some people want to be Superman, some people want to be Batman. My nephew wants to be Spider-Man. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, but that was never my thing. Like, when I was growing up, that wasn't my, like, I didn't see superheroes and go, oh, I want to do that. You know, I wanted to be the Hamburglar. <laughs> Y'all remember the Hamburglar? No. Oh, Ronald McDonald friend? <laughs> that was my god. Because, like, he didn't have any other objective other than to steal burgers. That was it. That was his. He would wake up and be like, I'm going to steal burgers today. <laughs> I'm going to do a helicopter. I'm going I'm to call it a gas leak. Like, he was trying to figure out how to get burgers. Like, superhero sounds exhausting. Superheroes, like, no matter how good of a job you do, you're expected to do that. You save a thousand people. And I'm like, yeah, but you didn't save a thousand and two people. That's so much pressure. But meanwhile, I'm like, well, I got 47 burgers today. <laughs> I can't even eat 47 burgers. I just steal it for the love of the game. <laughs> it's also funny, too, that every time we saw the Hamburglar, he was always in that, like, prison jumpsuit. Like, how many burgers do you got to steal before it's a crime? <laughs> I feel like he steals six burgers. They're like, get your ass out of here, bro. I'm like, go. Bro, stop stealing burgers, man. Go get a job. <laughs> but if you steal 106 burgers, they're like, man, you got to go to jail. <laughs> I don't even know what you do with that guy in jail. <laughs> what you in for? Oh, robbery. What you in for? Murder. What you in for? Man, I stole hella Krabby Patties, bro. <laughs> I love burgers, man. <laughs> you in prison. What's for lunch today? Burgers? I ain't no fucking way to some burgers for me. <laughs> Y'all done fucked up today. <laughs> you better hit cell and they just stacked up. <laughs> Cheeseburger Eddie. <laughs> I got the fries that'll cross your eyes. I got, the... <laughs> I got the burgers that'll. No, I just got burgers. <laughs> what a fun reference, dude. <laughs> well, that's great. Side note, super weird thing. Uh, when I did. When I did America's Got Talent, I got to meet Terry Crews. I got to talk to him for like 20 minutes. Honestly, one of the nicest humans I've ever met on this entire planet. He was so sweet. There was one awkward moment, though. We were sitting on this couch, and it's before they started filming. We were just having a conversation. And I'm wearing my nicest stuff. I had a pair of uh, uh, Yeezys that I had never worn before because they were too expensive for me to own them. They're like, like $275. I couldn't justify wearing them because in my head, I go, what if it rains? <laughs> There's no way I can just wear these wonderful, expensive ass shoes in the rain. So I'm sitting there next to Terry Crews, and he's wearing these like lime green alligator boots that in my head are worth a billion dollars. There's no way that they're not worth a billion dollars. And so we're sitting there, we're talking, he goes, oh, man, I like your shoes. And so I told him, I was like, yeah, I can't justify wearing them unless it was for this, because I'm poor, and I just, whatever. And he goes, oh, cool. <laughs> no, and damn well, he's wearing my apartment complex on his feet. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, those, those are nice gator boots. Uh, meanwhile, if I crease these, I will cry. 